I know you have been using GPTs, but have you ever wanted to train one? I surely did. I was playing with Nano GPT from Andre Karpati, but mostly the play was reading the stuff and watching YouTube videos. Uh, now, luckily, with Code Anywhere, I have access to GPU workspaces. I just need to paste the repo link, uh, and then I need to click and select the GPU workspace. Now we are providing uh, 16 gig, four CPUs, T4 NVIDIA with 16 gig uh, GPU memory, and then you just need to run it. And while this is opening, I have here Nano GPT uh, from Andre Karpati, and we can basically just try to train something. I did optimize it a little bit just to make it faster. I'm using Float 16. Um, and let's see, we are also using Weight and Biases. Weight and Biases gives you this nice dashboard where you can see all your runs. This was fun for me while learning stuff to understand the loss and how it relates, how the values relate to each other. Uh, and let's see, okay, so we are on step zero. This like means we are it will generate all gibberish. Uh, and also we see here that we are burning uh, through uh, power. We are going maximum power 70 watts and we are using a bit of RAM memory and, but we don't have time to wait for this and let's try to kill it and let's see what will generate a eh, wrong terminal window but let's see what it will generate if we try to run inference even with this uh, number of iterations and it's obviously giving us some uh, obvious gibberish I'm, this is the prompt I gave it I have it in prompt.txt file and we are not that happy. But we could also try to fine tune a GPT-2 model. Uh, I have optimized the file a little bit. I'm using uh, GPT-2, 124 million parameters model. Uh, we are doing 20 iterations of fine tuning and we are using this Shakespeare file here to train on. And I will also use the same prompt when we run uh, inference. And let's see what's happening. Okay, the training started and it's going much faster. We are also going maximum power and we are not utilizing the whole memory. And let's see. So basically with weight and biases, you can also check the runs and let's see how the fine tuning is going. Okay, it doesn't have yet enough uh, data points, but the fine tuning is done. It did 20 iterations, and now we can run it uh, and see how the inference will go. So we're using the same prompt from the prompt.txt file, and I will also try to stop it as soon as it starts, just to see how it generates stuff. Um, okay, let's stop it. Um, it makes a little bit more sense, don't you think? Thou shalt never forgive, but shalt enter the gates of hell in case of judgment. Quite sinister. But with this, we should end this demo, and I invite you all to try Code Anywhere. Daytona is providing infrastructure for Code Anywhere, and now you can run any GPU you like. We are working on providing even more options, and um, I would like to know what you think about this. Join our Slack and leave us a message. Thank you.